You know what that part reminded me of? You know when you go to like Dave and Buster's yes, or something, yes. and like I, I did, there's like the Alien game with the yes. when you have the gun. That's it. That was like the perfect like Back. recreation of Back. that. Hey yo, four See? guys with a mic taking on the world. Cheers. So I just can't f-ing speak. Like good old club soda. And welcome to Listen Buddy Podcast. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, wow. That's how it's going to open. <laughs> yeah, we're back. Uh, listen, buddy. Uh, what is it again? Sun-dried tomatoes. There you go. Yeah. There you go. I just wanted to make don't, sure. Don't it was, it was a little it bit up. of a test. It is a quiz. It was a little quiz, yeah. I know what it is, but I wanted it because, you know, last time. Yeah. What happened last time? Why don't you refresh us? <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Um, we won't throw it up. But no, so uh, we saw Alien Romulus. But before we dive into that, I just wanted to briefly talk about trailer-related why is it that Disney or any serious emotional movie releases it on fucking Christmas? Like this new Mufasa, oh, Mufasa. this new Mufasa movie is like this Christmas, and it's like the most <laughs> like orchestral music, <laughs> and it, like and it's the most. And I know this movie is gonna make me like sh- either shit my pants or cry my eyes out or, or both. both. Yeah. Like low key, I thought when they announced, it, I'm like, this is the most pointless like movie ever. But then it's like you watch the trailer, especially in the theater on the IMAX screen. I was kind of like, damn, this kind of looks. Yeah. Good. I, I, was, I, was I was sitting there. I was like, it kind of looks they good. They just wanted to make it because the graphics look so. Well, like, yeah, I mean, the visuals f- look fine. I mean, the yeah. the live action Lion King, like the 2019 one, made like over a billion dollars. So that's yeah, probably that's partly insane. why too. Because wasn't uh, the new color purple last Christmas? Yeah. And so it's like, it's these serious, like, beautiful mm. movies but get the Christmas that, or Thanksgiving slot. Yeah. That's like the, big, like that's family, o- the yeah. big family hitters. I feel True. like that's only been recently, though, because normally they have, like, the big, like, blockbusters. Like, if you think Star Wars, like, the last, True. all the Star Wars has Star, been, like, Christmas yeah, time. Yeah, Star Wars has and been And then when, it, when, it, when it's not Star Wars, then it's been Avatar. See, but it's Disney. That's what I'm that's saying. All, it's, it's all like, Disney. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. They, they, they have, there's a couple, like, times in the year that it's, like, that's Disney. Like May, the beginning of May, like end of April, May is obviously like they. Oh yeah, because that's like that's Marvel. Marvel. Time. That's like Marvel time. Yeah. And then you got like beginning of like like Fourth of July weekend usually. Yeah. They or like around that time usually they have something. Christmas, Thanksgiving, and then I guess now um, like uh, like Labor Day maybe I guess or I don't know what a holiday am I thinking of. Either Labor Juneteenth, Juneteenth. No, 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 no. Memorial Day. Memorial Day. There you go. I was thinking. Yeah, not Labor Day. Memorial Day. I think they have Memorial Day as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's what like starts off the summer movies too. Yeah. Starts going crazy, but hey, you know what finished off the summer movies though? It finished me off right. Oh, it was. It robbed my list. And we're gonna get to finish that as well. But Alien Romulus. Boom. I just feel like that's how you have to say it. In space. No one can like, hear you. It's like a hell yeah ass movie. Yeah, it was a hell yeah movie. It was like hell fuck yeah, yeah the whole time. Just fuck yeah. Just fuck yeah. Well, it was like it was like between like hell yeah and what the fuck like. Yeah, like definitely. definitely. There's a couple jump scares that got me for sure. No lie. But yeah. was, and the jump scares I felt like didn't get cheesy. Mm-hmm. They there, didn't like overdo it. True. It wasn't like, that's what I like. Yeah. There was a lot of moments where you thought there would be a jump scare, and they're like, no. Nah. They're gonna no, edge like, us. Yeah. yeah, and then it's like when it, it's like you think that it's gonna happen for a little bit, and it does happen, so you're kind of off guard, and then it happens. You're like, oh, fuck, oh God yeah. Damn it. But yeah, overall thoughts before we can dive more into the jump scares later. But I was locked in the entire Bang. Dude. absolute heater. Like I put the burrito down. <laughs> the whole you, you didn't you finish it. it? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, I was Round three or four with the Chipotle, with the Chipotle burrito. burrito. Do you still have I'm it? Defeated. <laughs> it's no, in the no, pack. I, I left it in the oh. cup holder. <laughs> Just a quarter holder. of a triple burrito, burrito in the cup holder. That's like a name of a band. <laughs> burrito. burrito in the... <laughs> Are we starting a band? No. no. Burrito <laughs> in the AMC. <laughs> That's like a Midwestern or yeah, Midwestern emo band <laughs> that plays out of the garage. Burrito but, yeah. in the AMC. <laughs> yeah, I was locked in the entire time. That was like super suspenseful. Exactly what you want the alien movie to be, but. I never seen the other alien movies. So <laughs> Damn, that's Bro, just that tough. No <laughs> reference point. Bro, Damn, because I was nerding out in there. I was nerding out <laughs> over so. Yeah, I was. I was pointing. I was like, "Oh my god, that's a thing!" Yeah, I was I like, "Oh my god, it's space!" <laughs> <laughs> like straight up, <laughs> a galaxy far, far yeah, away. No, like, that's how. It, no, well, actually, the opening reminded me a lot of the first Alien because it's kind of yeah. like, 
like you show they show space and then it's like you have the credit even like how the credits i feel like the font of it all it very yeah. it reminded me a lot of like the og movies yeah it was nice i it tickled every like bit of the nostalgia i had of the old movies but gave it that new Cause this director he did um he did the evil not the most recent evil dead movie but the evil dead one i think that came out like maybe in like 20 10, oh, yeah, 2011. Wasn't it Evil Dead Rise? No, no, no. That was the one that just came out. Oh. The no. one that came out like like maybe like a decade before that. Like 2000, like oh, probably 2013. Just, I think it's just Evil Dead. I think Dead. it's just Evil Dead. Yeah, yeah, he did that one. And I feel like that was kind of the same thing too where he like took a lot of the traditional stuff, but he made it kind of like newer, but still paid like respect to the OG stuff, which I feel like is exactly what he did with this. Yeah, this one was perfect. Because, um, yeah, overall thoughts, um, I really enjoyed the pace of the movie. It just kind of start. It just gets going. Yeah. Cause, uh, the intro credits, I feel like are actually setting the stage of, yeah. uh, what, like what, like it, it leads that, into that the is whole... the outpost. Yeah. That they're yeah, on. yeah, yeah, exactly. Showed, like the ship they're in as yeah. well, like all the screens and stuff. Well, cause wasn't it like whenever they like took, they, they like took the thing and then the camera pans up and wasn't that like, was that like a Xeno? I, I couldn't really tell. I think it was the imprint of a Xeno. Yeah. It right? was the imprint. So, cause it was on the bottom half okay. of it and that was the top half. So it was showing like the mm. imprint of the head, the yeah. penis head. Yeah. The little one. But yeah, I thought um, yeah, like the you know, <laughs> That's funny. I thought it was, I yeah, I thought it was really good. I think um, for me, like the, I feel like the earlier movies in the Alien series have been good, and then they kind of fell off, and then they kind of got back with Prometheus, and then Covenant was worse than Prometheus, but they had some cool ideas. But this definitely like they 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 kind of figured it out, and it's kind of like which we predicted that it was going to be like a, a somewhat of a redo of Alien, which it was. But it's kind of like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. True. And I feel like it's been so long. Like, what was that? Like, we'll throw it up. Maybe, like, what is it? Like, the 70s, 80s? Like, oh, I think the first one came out. Like, in uh, like late, late 70s, I was, early 80s? I want to say it was either 71 or, like, 69. God that's damn. So insane. that's, like, hella. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It's, like, what is it? Like, 50 years have yeah. passed now? It's so been it's a like, long time. I feel like it's fair enough to, you know, now yeah, he, you're. I watched the screen crush before I went in. He did say, like, Recap. Shout five out Screen Crush. That dude out screen fucking bro, rocks. Putting on for so many movie watchers. I'm not going to cap. I've used it so many times, but nah, he said it was like recapping five decades of i was like holy yeah. fuck he's i, like, I like screen crush is good for the recaps but i gotta i gotta support my boy uh heavy spoilers for the for the breakdowns Ooh. after oh, the yeah. movie sorry yeah. and him and screen crush kind of have like a they have like a friendly like little beef like I, they like yeah. talk about each other i like uh screen crush for the uh the easter eggs or the connections the little I, breakdowns yeah the okay. the little breakdown i guess so fuck you sorry Pick a side and stay on it. <laughs> I need to check out more of Heavy Spoilers. Check. He's British, so, you know. Oh. Isn't it? <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't drop a, a diss track. Diss track. On, <laughs> on Screen Crush. Screen Dude, crush. can Screen Crush and Heavy Spoilers? Be Sorry, I'm choking on my fucking words over guys. here. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think there he's you having a... Are <laughs> you having bad. a... I tried. Are you having a chest... What is it called? A chest buster? Dude, I was having a chest buster. I was chest bursting. Dude. I was bursting through the ass just a second ago. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I thought it was – yeah, I mean, it was – I thought it was really good. I think overall, I think I, I, there's, not, there's, like, little things I can nitpick on, and we can probably get into that. But, like, overall, I was like, yes, fuck Sl- yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great yeah. movie. But, yeah. The whole crowd audience was – yeah, the Engaged. audience, audience yeah. reactions were crazy. Yeah, the audience were, actually like, was a great time. Yeah. yeah, no one was being like too extra, but yeah. like it wasn't like like silent unless it needed unless it was like supposed to be silent. Exactly. You know? They laughed when they needed to laugh. They clapped when they needed to clap. They cheered when they needed to clap. <laughs> clap. <laughs> you almost had it. You almost I, had it. I was like, okay, he's cooking. I was like, oh, oh. Right, now I feel cooking. like I do this every pod where I just have something where I just. I like Biden. I just go. But full whenever b- anybody else Biden's, you're like, "Cleep, you cleeped, cleep, cleep." You He's like, like call him out on it. <laughs> Mainly Odell. True, it is Thanks. Odell. Opalize. Bring Odell back. <laughs> Free Odell. <laughs> Free Odell until it's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I think the aliens got him. Yeah. Hey, the aliens do got him, but he's about to he's about to break free. <laughs> he's about to burst out of their he's about chest. To burst out the chest. But What's yeah, next story. What y'all think of the story? 
which we kind of talked about. You said the opening laid the groundwork, but what did you think for like overall? Like, yeah, I thought the story was really cool. I really, um, I was thinking about this. I thought that the trailer uh, showed a lot for the movie, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it didn't. Because yeah. I yeah. watched the movie after watching it, I was like, that trailer didn't really show. I it feel like too that's much. a new thing that the movies be trying to do, like. <laughs> show you the trailer and act like they're showing everything and then you're like what the i feel like i saw everything in the trailer and then yeah they're like nah but you didn't think yeah. that i was gonna do it like this i feel like it's mainly usually i've noticed that the most with like the horror movies where it's like you it, you're seeing a lot of Christ. shit but none of it you're like okay what like i see all this yeah, you're but trying what is, to like put it yeah in like order. long legs i feel like was the same way cuckoo i feel like was the same way where i'm like okay i feel like i just saw a fuck ton of shit but i have no clue what's going on mm-hmm. And it's like with this, obviously, I felt a little because obviously I know Alien. I understand the foundation of it. Oh, they probably went somewhere they weren't supposed to. Yeah. Found something they weren't supposed to. Now shit's in the fan, which like that's the foundation. But other than that, I didn't know where, like how they got there, what they were searching for, any of that. Yeah. So to answer your question uh, with the story, like that's what I was getting to is that I thought that it really was a good story from beginning to end because. I didn't see it in the trailer. I was yeah. like, how did they get... I thought that the company was going to yeah, send them. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But it was really them being curious to scavenge. Yeah, because they're like, we well, got to get the fuck yeah, out of Yeah, they're trying here. to get off planet. Yeah, because hey, it's, it's a mining colony, so you know how those are. You're yeah. you're stuck there. You're trapped. You're you're in the, you're in the fucking wheel, the hamster yeah. wheel, until you like get cancer from the mines or you just die or whatever else. Yeah, happens. one girl worked 12,000 hours, and then they're like, yeah, sorry, it's now 24,000. Yeah, they said, see, they said, well, you can come back in six years. And like, so yeah, I thought, I thought the way that they set it up, cause it's like you, you follow her and you can see, like, they literally explain to you, she, it's like, she's desperate to get the fuck out of here. Like the first thing you see of her, it's like, you see her on like a mountain and she's like, it's like Thanos at the end of infinity war. It like, is. and I was like, what the fuck's going on? But then you realize it's a dream and she's like dreaming about being on this planet. And really she's like mm. in a fucking bunk bed in some like random, like hostel or whatever the hell and so it's like i thought they did a good job it's like you follow her and then you she has the android brother or whatever and he's kind of like off a little bit it's like he's like malfunctioning i guess i guess they're trying to show it's kind of like a disability i guess i don't know if that's what they were trying to show that's what i got from or just like he is so fragile yeah i think he was like thrown away they said he's like oh you just picked him up and you're just oh yeah what is that didn't they say he was scrapped yeah like, he's I scrapped so. and you just did him a, did him a favor or something yeah That's what i the think cousin so or something said but yeah, yeah i think that is like he was like left and so yeah i think he had like some little like malfunction or something functions yeah but i think like if you think like a malfunction for a robot i feel like that could be kind of like a disability you know like, and they made the, his like malfunctions arc. And even his arc, too, um, they made his malfunctions great for a horror purpose. Like, when they gave him the new... Uh, yeah, He's like, exactly. He, like, froze into this And his this hands cre- were all creepy. Yeah, yeah. and like, I was like... He's resetting, but he looks so, so scary. scary. He's yeah. like, what the? Ugh. Ugh. Like, Ugh. Yeah, I was literally like, Ugh. I My one note about that, dude had the mewing streak of a lifetime. <laughs> Bro did not break the mewing. He was like... <laughs> the whole movie he was exactly directive like that the whole time he did not <laughs> it was so funny i was like damn he's really old <laughs> he's, like, he's like on the floor like yeah he's like, he's like, like don't he's seizing don't on the floor it. he's like he's like how do you and then he's like resetting he's like yeah, he's like let me get your chip he's like no <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, what the? No, and that's what's crazy. He's seizing, but he's still following he's like, like yeah. his directive. No. Like, but okay. yeah, so I guess going with story, I really did like how throughout all the Alien movies, there's that underlying theme of humans not trusting the synthetics. Mm. Yeah. Because that's been, in the first one, Ripley almost died to the synthetic. Yeah. And then in the second one, she doesn't trust the because synthetic. Because of what happened because, in the first one. Yeah, because yeah. of what happened in the first one. And then in this one... You know, but what in this in Aliens though wasn't he actually a good like synthetic? Like, yeah, wasn't yeah, he yeah. a good one? Like a good android, right? Uh, I think he's. I don't think so because he had his own like agenda, right? Yeah, his own agenda. Oh. It's like he wasn't trying to save them. Oh, okay, because he he's trying to bring something back for Wayland. Yeah, because it's always like that's how their program is to yeah. serve Wayland Corp or whatever. But yeah, so pretty much. 
you find out that yeah, it's like she's she stuck on this planet. She's trying to get the fuck out. She meets with this like I guess that's like her crew, her old crew. But I guess yeah, she used guess to it, they used her. to do jobs, but now they kind of split up. And it's I didn't that's the other thing too. I didn't realize that the whole cast it's like a it kind of is like a somebody said that it was like a CW show where it's like they're all like teens and like young adults <laughs> and stuff. I'm like damn, that's I didn't fun. really realize that till like they showed the crew and I'm like okay yeah I was like you guys are all like fucking it's like the sand line. Yeah, you like, guys are all like what to, like 19 years old, 20 years. <laughs> old like what's going on here young but, justice yeah cast. young ju- yeah yeah literally and so they're all like we got to get out of here and they're like oh we got to get to this planet and they find they're like oh there's this ship it's been decommissioned it's just an orbit uh like we like, just we found out about it first we Let's gotta get go. there because other people will and it's like if there's any resources on there we want to get to them first before they do and it's like i feel like that's such a good i feel like it makes sense too because it's especially they set it between alien and alien so it's like i feel like it has to be something that's like low-key enough to where it's like because if it was, like, something high stakes, you'd be like, why the fuck didn't we hear about this in Aliens? Yeah. You know, like, where the fuck was all this commotion in the second one? Like, yeah. So I feel like it makes sense that it's just some random kids, like, just trying to go fucking, fin- like, steal some shit. Yeah. And they just, cho- they just, it was, like, a bad, bad time to and do it. It is what's, and what's crazy is, like, what we were talking about is that they actually go to the outpost that is the setting of Alien. Yeah. And it's after everything that's happened. And so there's, like, holes and... It's mm. basically destroyed and shit. Um, wait, wait, th- that's the outpost from Alien? I thought that they were saying that. Because how else would have would the synthetic be there? If it's the synthetic from Alien, how else would that synthetic be there? Is it the same one? Because didn't they have, like, clones? Or is, is there just another version of that, like, synthetic? See, because that's what you and I were talking about. Because his name says Security Officer Rook. But you were saying Ash. Ash. And so that's why I think, like, because I thought the way that he explained it was that whatever happened in Alien, whenever she puts the, because at the end of Alien, Ripley, uh, she opens the airlock, and that's how the xenomorph gets, like, sucked out or whatever. And I thought they were saying that that space station had found, or they they, they saw that the xenomorph just, like, in space, like, just fucking floating, Mm. and they extracted and brought it in. I thought that's what they were saying. I I didn't catch that, if that's the case. Because I, I, we may have to get clarification on that, but um, that's what yeah, that's what the impression I was under. Because I don't remember was in Alien was their little space was their station that huge? Like was it like did they say Romulus? I mean, and she Remus? kind of like she kind of, I was they didn't say Romulus. So. I thought wasn't it like the no- Nostradu or no- Nosferatu? It or may, I think it's the Nostradu. Something like yeah, that. I so I, I'm wrong on that. I'm taking it all back. I don't I don't know, but I'm just saying like I just based on how. Uh, Brooke or Ash or whatever the hell the the half chopped off torso uh, android was saying. That's the under impression I was under. That whatever happened in Alien happened, and this ship found that xenomorph and brought it mm. in, and then it was like kind of that's and then they what, started working, and on then it. they started experimenting on it, and that's when shit hit the fan. That makes sense. Yeah, but yeah, I think the the overall though, I think the story was cool. Yeah, I think it's low key enough to where it's like. It makes sense why whatever happens, it doesn't. It's not a big deal in uh, uh, Aliens, but I also don't think it's like super low key. It's like, then why? Why the fuck is this even a movie? Like, why are we True. watching this? You True. know, I feel like they found that perfect balance. Yeah. yeah. And in that way, I feel like it kind of did remind me of like Rogue One. Or like, it was like one of those good, like even though it's not a prequel, it kind of had like prequel it's a vibes. Great filler. Yeah, it's a great, great like filler. filler. The same way Rogue One was. It was a great yeah, filler. Rogue like, One. Great and like y'all said, like they had like the face aliens at the beginning, and then they brought like the bigger aliens at the exactly, end. Exactly, yeah. Kind of did both, but yeah, no, I love I've Alien. I think was the first horror movie I ever watched when I was like eight, and it was so that's why you're the way that you are. I, that it is. makes it makes perfect <laughs> sense. No, because I remember I was eight years old. I walked into you're the like, living fuck room. Fuck yeah! And it's like eight p.m. and my mom's like watching this, and she was like, I was like, what are you watching? She was like, Come here. If you're gonna watch this. You need to sit down and shut up. You need to be quiet and like watch it. And you're like, (laughs) and so I sat there and then movie's over. It's 10 o'clock at night and it's a, it's Probably a, a Wednesday. Yeah. She's like, all right, let's go to bed. And you're like, mom. I was like, what the fuck? I have to go to bed after just watching that? <laughs> you're like, mom, is the face so on good? Your so I'm literally laying in bed, and I was like, that was awesome, but I'm so terrified. I'm so scared. <laughs> I was like, That's funny. Yes. 
That's funny as fuck. No, yeah, Alien is a great movie. Um, what's uh, what's next on tension? Your... So like going to go in story like the building the tension. I thought that that oh, was yeah. a good like the way they did it too. So it's like you start off kind of going back to what you're saying with the face huggers. It's like there's only so much you can do with them, and mm-hmm. it's like oh they're gonna get you. They're gonna put their little fucking dick. They really thing did you. show the detailedness of the face hugger the dick, in this one. The, I felt the, like the we've dick, never really the face seen. Fuck? Yeah, we've never really seen the face. That was fuck. crazy. So yeah. He tongued her. He was like, that was so nasty. Yeah, dude. and then it's like, yeah, they eventually. Yep. So it gets one of the one of the people. It gets, uh, it gets her, and then it like, <laughs> it gets her, and uh, like she's like literally convulsing and stuff. And eventually they get it off of her. But like, I thought that was a great she scene cooked. when it's like, yeah, they like escape. They, like, so it's like I thought like, they did a good job too. Yeah, because like, oh, then they they like they split the group up, and it's like, all right, great, you guys are split up. Nothing good happens when you're split up, and then. That's when shit really starts to hit the Dude, fan. Dude, tell me why that fucking ship Tokyo drifted the perfect rotation into to into like an opening, like little, like back a little, like, in the like a cargo. Yeah, like, it was just like I'm drifting right, <laughs> and I'm a park here. Yeah, was, that I mean, it's a movie. Obviously, I you have was to like, have. Oh, like, they're dead. Never seeing them again. Yeah. We don't have to worry about the alien problem. <laughs> yeah. It's gone. Nope. Yeah, just kill. Right like, there. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, you think it's gonna drift left? It'll just. You, I was like, oh, it's just gonna drift farther and farther left. And it's like, oh no, perfect, perfectly <laughs> yeah, into the cargo back bay. Into the cargo bay. It just perfectly. So nice. like, so yeah, they, funny. they kept building the tension really nice, though. Like, yeah. And I felt like you the, get there, yeah. and then they're like, "Oh, let's go find the fuel," and then they get to the fuel, and then they're locked, and then true, the, the and then yeah, it's synthetic like face goes huggers. bad. I thought dude lost his fingers because they got froze on. Yeah. I was well, like, I mean, he yeah. lost them later. Well, yeah, definitely. But I, I was like, oh, his fingers are like truly cooked. icicles. I was like, if he taps them, they're gonna cooked. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna break off. Yeah, uh, but yeah. I thought, I thought that was good. And then the tension of like the, the which we're kind of skipping ahead a little bit, but the scene when it's like she. Uh, they're like about to get cornered at her, the main girl, and the, what's the main girl's name again? Uh, Ray or Rain? Rain, of, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Rain and then uh, a- Andy? Andy. Yeah. yeah, Rain and Andy. They're like getting cornered, and all the as you know, more start coming towards them. And then he says, because his whole thing, there's like a running thing where it's like he makes like dad jokes. Like he because makes I like think puns it's a, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, because it's a gift from her dad yeah. because I think he died. Yeah, and he probably like and uh, he probably like put uploaded some like joke book into his like yeah. hardware or something and so he has like just un, like tons of dad jokes. Some of them were hidden. Yeah, but he, so yeah, so I know he was yeah. really like, man, that shit. <laughs> yeah, he said no, he said he said, "Yeah, I want a seafood diet. Like I see food and I eat it." I was yeah. like, "Hey." <laughs> and then yeah, he, he, there was one but the, and then at one point he said while they're like trapped and they're getting cornered and the xenomorphs are coming, he said something uh, about like zero gravity or no gravity. Oh, yeah, it was the gravity pun or whatever. Yeah, he has gravity, and that's what gives uh, Rain the idea that she's like, oh shit, because the ship has like zero gravity. These like it like comes, it like variates. It's like it's on like, and drop off. Drop it was yeah. the punchline. I forgot. What yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. And so pretty much she like turns off. She turns on the zero gravity, and so the xenomorphs are all coming at them because the whole oh, thing that's was my favorite scene. Bro. They couldn't shoot them because they had their acid. Their blood is acid, and it like will burn. And they're on the bottom floor of the ship, so if it burns through. They're cooked because yeah, now done. that space but underneath them. So it's like they have to be strategic with it. So she, he says the gravity joke. She turns it on and the fucking now the Xenomorphs are coming at them. Like and they're all like spinning and she's and that she's part. Like, now I can shoot. You know what that part reminded me of? You know when you go to like Dave and Buster's or yes, something yes. and like I, I did, there's like the alien game with the yes. when you have the gun. That's it. That was like the perfect like Bye. recreation of. Of that. that. She, has, I think she has like real life aimbot. Dude, that's computer. what I was just about to say. That was the coolest piece of tech. Aimbot. And this was aimbot and how they showed that when yeah. you when you basically just aim the gun at it, the target. It'll the, kinda it'll it'll correct the like, shoulder pivot. Like you just pull half the trigger and it just it's oh, so yeah, cool. So I that feel like that's it. probably low key. We're only probably maybe a probably decade not. away. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah. But that might already be a thing. Dude, aimbot key. like that. It's like you pull the trigger and you uh, half the trigger and you get the red dot. So it's like you probably eventually. Yeah, I, I I would say we're less than a decade away from something like that being they real. If it's not it, already, they do not want to fucking release that yeah. shit. Yeah, no that get, that makes it out in the streets. Cannot. That so. makes it out into O Block. It's not gonna be fun. <laughs> it's okay. not. It's not gonna be. Somebody fun. take this man to O Block. <laughs> Let's go. Um, but yeah, and also I felt like the music did a really good job of keeping the tension because at some points <laughs> when all the shit is like happening either people are dying there's explosions or whatever the fuck is happening the music is there and it's blaring whether it's like alarms or like a 
Yeah, bah, man. Bah. The music and the sound was so. The sound design was yeah. really good too. Oh yeah. Like there was like parts where it's like it would just be like complete silence too. Oh, yeah. Like you, that's how. Yeah, you couldn't hear anything. Cause that's that's how it opened. It's just like too. like right when it started, I was like had my burrito. And I was like, dude, yeah, I got jump scared. A minute and 17 seconds into the movie, it's silent, and then it goes, like, into the ship window, and then it's like, boop! Yeah. Like, the the ship just turns <laughs> on. I was like, holy Oof, fuck. Yeah, oh, it wasn't even, like, anything on the screen, but the sound got you. I was like, yeah. oh, my God, IMAX. Yeah, d- I, that, that's, what I, that was, that's what I was going to say. Like, honestly, like, I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, man, the sound design in IMAX, sometimes I'm like, they crank the volume up to, like, a 12 in yeah. IMAX decibel like level Dolby you can like, feel it but I think like this the, how loud it gets in IMAX they like because I feel like every movie I've seen in IMAX it's at like a 12 yeah like I remember when we watched Civil War speaking of the main girl because you were in Civil War I don't even remember dude the that's that I have never heard like gunshots that fucking loud in a movie ex- until I fucking watched Civil War Damn. like it felt like I was on the battlefield I was in the fucking war the <laughs> Civil War <laughs> and that's the same thing I felt in an alien. Like they, whenever you hear that, like the alien go rah, oh and like all that stuff. It's like, like a tad bit too loud. You're like, but it's the perfect amount. Yeah. You know? Like if you you were watching in your house and you had a speaker that loud, it would be like, yo, turn that shit down. Yeah. I like how bit. the alien sounds like from afar. It's like, <sighs> yeah. I love that. I'm and like, then oh, I like yeah. the the scene like, the scene where they're like the scene where they're like sneaking through because and that, that was interesting because thing about the face hugger so it's like it's about like they read they they don't like see you it's like sonar yeah almost. it's like it but it's like with temperature mm-hmm. that's what i like they about dissect her the body she oh, was and so sound, like yeah. smart and she was coming up with all these crazy solutions she was like what if we just turn the temperature up to our body heat then they can't sense but then even heat. then he's like but still the you can't bumps. get goosebumps and you can't get nervous yeah. that'll spike your temperature and i was oh like my. oh my fucking god this makes sense claire's sister was like yeah i'm fucked in that I'm situation <laughs> i've got clammy hands so she's like i'm I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, and then in that scene, that's like one of the f- jump scares that happens. It's like she's like walking, she signs the light, boom, dead body. And I'm like, how the fuck did you not, like, how did your nothing spike up? Like, you just like, <gasps> yeah, literally, like, and so, yeah, that whole scene was great. That kind of reminded me of, the, that scene reminded me of in, um, if y'all remember World War Z, remember at the end of World War Z where, like, oh, Brad Pitt has to walk through the zombies? walking through all of yeah, them. Yeah, and he's, like, trying to be all, like, low-key and shit. That's what that reminded oh, me of. Another yeah. thing she did, she was like, oh, just freeze the face guy's, like, neck True. The and then fucker. break him off. Yeah, oh my God. yeah but then at the same whoa, 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 time. Whoa, whoa. Did you what? just assume the, the face hugger's gender? Yeah, what did I call him? You said him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did I call him? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know the face hugger's gender. Excuse no, you. but yeah, at the same time, though, I, I was like, they. like, right as the thing fell off, I was like, it's done. You're I was cooked. Like, yeah, I was yeah. like, I was like you're, your good. face has been fucked. Like, yeah. you're, I was like, like dude, the fucking has occurred. Like, bro, he was in there, bro. You were cooked. He all again. the way in Do there. we know that the gender? Well, again, but actually, he well, at did the it again? <laughs> bro, look what he got. It gotta be a dude. Like, well, you're saying by the end of it? No, like he like. Oh, what he did? I guess that's true. Is that a dick or a tongue? Yeah, is a face was, hugger a guy or a girl? Tell, tell us in the comments. Comment below the gender of the for the look, alien. Man, I don't think it's a tongue. The that's alien super saying. fans. You know, who know all the lore, who've read the books and the yeah. novelizations. And what all. is the gender of the face huggers? Yeah. And then also, what is the gender of the xenomorphs? Yeah. And what is the gender well, of in the uh, androids? That's a good point. But in Aliens, there's the queen, queen alien yeah. that's like hooked up to an egg producer or something. Damn. Kinky. We'll get to the egg producer. Oh, now. we'll get to that. Yeah. But yeah, okay. Uh, we can go to acting. Dude, acting was great. Um... I think uh, obviously the main girl seems like bro, she yeah because she's been in she was in Civil War like we said she was in Priscilla the Elvis movie but like from the perspective of Priscilla and I think she was in something else so she's obviously like a good ass actress because yeah. she's been in a lot of stuff so she was solid but I think the standout for me was the android Andy I thought he did that actor did a really good job yeah. I, I want to say uh, the Asian girl Navarro I want to say she was the CG I actress for uh, one of the characters in The Last of Us, Part Two, the video game. Oh, I think she's one of uh, like she's a, like part of the the, the group or whatever, yeah, right? yeah, the yeah. settlement or whatever. Yeah, the, the scars. I think I want to say that's her. I want to say she's the one that acted in it, but I could be wrong. That's actually funny that you say that because I'm pretty sure the other girl, the one that's pregnant, I think she's in season two, the live action, and oh, she's yeah, playing I think she's Dina, be right? Dina, yeah. yeah, I think she's gonna be. That, so that's, that's kind of a yeah. cool little connection if that's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wonder if, because if that is the girl, then I wonder if she was like, "Hey, 
You'd be a good Dina. I was in, I was, you know, they, I did some mocap. I did some mocap. And I think you'd be good for this. Yeah. This, You know, they're doing live action. I think you're perfect. So yeah. I, that could be, that if could that be is, it. that's a cool connection. But yeah, I think, um, I think for me, yeah, I think it was the Android was my favorite like performance just because he had to do like once they fix his chip because it's like you see he's kind of got his little quirks about him and stuff and he kind of stutters and he's like ah, but then know. he starts to become michael fast yeah no yeah time. and then they they because they, they, they realize to Completely get to, to open up like the the cryo chamber thing you need certain type of clearance and so the girl has to uh, she has to go to the other android and get his chip that has like the complete clearance and so she puts it in the in andy's like little mainframe little usb thing sd card and so he becomes all cr- after he resets and he's like that he like he's all crying he like has like a british accent then and stuff he and he's like up the hello i don't think you should be doing this like, oh, pulls like, up and just starts cooking he's like we need to go well here. yeah he's he like, becomes yeah, he dead. becomes more logical yeah. in his choices yeah, yeah. yeah. and that's when he kind of gets and that's when like rook or he's ash like, slash hey, Ush. Best, best interest of the company yeah hey. rook slash is it an m or a w Oh yeah, w. 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 W do for a win. Come on, hey. W. W do for a Waylon. <laughs> w do for a Waylon. <laughs> but yeah, I think. Um, I mean, no one did a bad job, but I definitely think like the standouts. You, know, you could tell that a couple of them from the cast was like, oh, "You're you're just here to die." Yeah. Like the the cousin or whatever, yeah, the guy the was cousin. just being a dickhead the whole time. I'm like. You're just here to die, yeah. and it's like you're the one that when you die, everyone's gonna be like, "All right, cool." You were you're kind like, of a oh, dickhead. Finally. Yeah. Yeah, I really. Uh, I didn't think there was a problem with any of the acting. Solid, super great, fun, fun all around, fun no. for the family. Bring the kids. Duh, that part Bring I don't the know. Kids. I don't know if I can agree to that one, but I guess yes. Yeah, so acting overall was pretty good. Nothing, no, nothing crazy. No, you know, bad stuff that stood out. So I think we can move on to directing and visuals. What did y'all think? Yeah, it was solid. Um, the camera angles in the directing were cool because I like the choices of, at some points. Like it would go from behind the shoulder and then the main girl would turn and then it would be like the cameras pointing at her face and then she would like turn another corner and the camera would like then go back to behind yeah. her. It was like we'd get cut off. It was very maybe. like dynamic. Yeah. Like it yeah, moved yeah. around. But I think like I for me the the parts that stood out was like whenever it was like he'd kinda go out like like not really in the ship, but anything that was like external. Like when you saw the ship like Whenever it crashes into the the stations, like crashing into the the, the, belt the rings or whatever yeah. the belt, yeah, that was, was like this is like a fucking painting. Like, True. Yeah. And then like, it's like yeah, all the stuff like that the acid, yeah. like yeah. deteriorating, like the finger. Yeah. Dude, I like that, how they like part. gave they gave close ups of everything. Like Dude. you saw some. Crazy they didn't shit. shy away from anything. They were gonna yeah. close up right it's there. It's gory. It, I did not anticipate this movie to be that yeah, gory. And honestly, facts. now it makes sense that why they got this. I'm like, he did. He, he's done an Evil Dead movie. True. That makes so sense. it makes sense why they got him to do this. Now, my like, favorite shot was like that scene you were talking about earlier when she was jumping through the acid, and you have like the camera following her, and she just like, dude, that had she, like, me sh- so sh- stressed. She was real. like, we've got to float through this acid because there's zero. zero and she's like about to hit the big puddle of acid and she just like shoots, shoots the like gun shoots boom, boom yeah like slides out i was yeah. like hell yeah but yeah overall sick. i thought visuals and then even when they were showing even before they go up to the space station when they're on the um when they're like on the the planet the mining planet it was like very the all the shots is like right behind them like you feel like you're in this like little world or this colony wherever True, they're at you like, feel like you're it's like boots it. on the ground like you're just following them like through the crowd all and then shit. when like, the ship's coming up off the planet you see how like the the rest of the planet is so like that was a really cool shot like, too yeah yeah like it looks fucked up like it and there's no sun ever yeah zero, zero days yeah zero hours and minutes of daylight Ever. That's crazy. Dude, yeah. No, the director, director Loki, and it looked amazing on that, on that giant ass oh, IMAX yeah. screen. Yeah. And Visuals I love the fact fire. that, because at the whole, I love that this was shot for IMAX clearly, because it's like the whole time it's like IMAX. Sometimes there's some movies where they'll have IMAX sequences mm-hmm. and you'll see the black bars and then it'll go to IMAX sequence and then back to the black bars. This was IMAX from the fucking beginning to yep. the end. It like, was awesome. I was like, fuck yeah. Like, that's what I paid my fucking hard-earned, well, and pay. That's what I made my reservation on AMC A-List with my hard-earned fucking time. I fucking made that to see some shit like that. So, shout, let me look up the director's name real quick because I want to give him some props. Y'all continue. Dude, no. Um, What were we talking about? Visuals? I just Visuals. have to go back to the acid, bro. Yeah. The acid, man. When they started deteriorating that guy's fingers and they started going like super cold. I was Dude, like, oh, I was like oh, the bo- Because the thing is, is the acid doesn't stop. It's, she was like, 
Oh, should I save you? Yeah. Oh, oh, no, you're good. Uh, yeah, I'm out. Dude, no. Sorry. I literally was like, why are you not rolling away from yeah. the dripping of acid? Like, you oh, just... Oh, fe- so like, the dir- director's name is Fede Alvarez. So he did uh, he did Evil Dead from 2013. Mm-hmm. You know what other movie he did? Don't Breathe. Ooh, that's the one with the blind, blind guy. Blind guy. Yeah, that movie's okay. I really... It's, I like I mean, that I movie. feel like I've only seen, like... Uh, the back half of that movie. Okay. I need to see it all. I thought that's a that's a good like one of those like intruder type movies. It's like oh you fucked with the wrong guy type movies. Yeah. So this guy and that one kind of got like took a turn and had like a lot of honestly yeah. So I think that's just kind of what he does like because with this movie like you kind of like you kind of think it's gonna end. And then a bunch more shit. Uh, like, not a bunch more shit, but then there's kind of like a whole there's a little... whole final like, act. There's like a whole little epilogue, kind of, with yeah. like, oh, like, shit. gets super crazy, and it's just like action-packed, crazy shit for like the whole 20 minutes out of nowhere. And it's like yeah. going at this steady inclination of like, hey, then it just goes yeah. like this. Or we, I mean, yeah, we're already talking about, we can just get into it. Yeah, the yeah. ending is fucking nuts. Because yeah. I, I saw on Twitter, so like... I guess there was like a fan event like last week or something, and everyone mm-hmm. said, Alien Rama's is crazy. Like, it's good, but man, the ending is fucking bonkers. Like, so it's like, but they didn't spoil it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like, they just said the ending is crazy. Crazy, yeah. And so it's like, I thought that they had just meant like kind of where it like was naturally going to end. I thought they were saying like the zero G stuff when they're all it's like zero gravity, they go in the elevator shaft, and then it's like the zero, the gravity's coming down, it's going back up, and all this stuff. I thought that's what they meant. I was mm-hmm. like, I mean, yeah, this is pretty fucking crazy. Oh, yeah. They're like shooting all these aliens and stuff, and I was like, oh. Then out of nowhere, it just turns up. And, and they, they turn it up to like a I fucking like, 11, God and they're like, damn. all right, like you thought the movie's over? Uh uh-uh. uh. Here go, here go 20 more minutes for you. <laughs> for real. So wait, okay, so let me like piece this together and correct me if I'm wrong. So that compound Z1. That, <laughs> Comp- yeah, compound Romulus. Yeah, whatever com- we'll call it uh, compound Romulus. Okay. Yeah. So that compound is the life that in Prometheus, that guy drank I and then so. fell into the waterfall. Yes. That's what that is. Yes. Cause then if you notice, know, whenever that ha- whenever he was giving that little exposition dump about it mm-hmm. and they were showing like the, how they were testing on it, he's mentioned, he Prome- mentions Prometheus. Prometheus, but I think he was saying more like in the historical sense, like the story of Prometheus, yes. you know, like, but I was like, I didn't think that was a coincidence that he, we, they're showing us this and then he says Prometheus. Yeah. And so that's why the, we're unveiling it now. The humanoid xenomorph that we see looks like that looks like those that it, engineers. Yeah, the engineers. Yeah. So uh, yeah, because when I saw it, I was like, "It's an engineer," but then I was like, "It's not an engineer." It's though. like an alien. It's like an engineer xenomorph, human, alien, baby, fucking deformity, fucking splice yes, hybrid. Yes, like, fucking. But it's skin, like all bro. of the above. Yeah, and because I was like, yeah, and then um, I, th- I think you said it when um. It was going to the girl that gave birth to the thing. He like opened up his mouth, like going to breastfeed. That's what I and thought. It, yeah, the and tongue. Her, thing. And her breast milk was that life. Yeah, liquid. And so that's why I thought I was like, oh, he's gonna breastfeed, but like, no, he just depleted her. He no, just, like, he sucked just, her dry. He just yeah, he milked her. There's nothing left. Like he that's... sucked the soul out of her. Yeah, literally. literally. Yeah, he gave her that. He gave her that Romulus seven. seven. <laughs> that, that Romulus. Yeah, that rom. He gave her that raw rom. <laughs> he gave her that rom rom. But yeah, rom job. Uh, no, that oh, that's crazy. <laughs> the Double ending down. was so good, and um, now nah, right when that dude came out, everybody in the audience, was dude, like, everybody, <gasps> everybody was, the fuck? everybody went. Like, yeah, everybody was, literally leaned in because the guy behind me, I swear, oh, the guy that? behind me was like. What the fuck? And then it, <laughs> then the music kicked in and like started fighting. I was like, oh my god! I was like, we are in this shit. But yeah, no, I I, so I like how that it's like they they definitely like I I really think they're trying to make uh what is it? what was her name Rain again Rain yeah, yeah Rain I think they're they're trying to make her like the Ripley of like the new generation She's because our generation's Ripley yeah I guess Ripley! so. I guess so because no, they, I stand with Ripley Sigourney Weaver come on she's weaving. Come on, <laughs> she's she weaves her except web. when you except in Alien Three. Yeah, babe. except when you were bald with the dogs. <laughs> except when you just killed yourself in Alien Three. Like bald, why'd you do that? Bald with the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I thought yeah, but I, uh, that whole thing and it's like even then it's like that is very much like Alien and Aliens. Like they're kind of doing a retread mm-hmm. of that, but it's like. Dude, it's like whenever you have like a badass person and it's just like you're like, oh, shit, she's in this situation like she's cooked. And then yeah. it's like she has to it's like, let's see how she gets out of this. Like what creative shit can she do? And it's like and I like that, too. It's like sometimes they'll show that it's like, oh, how are they going to get out of this? But it's like 
they don't show enough to it's like throughout the movie that it's like okay they've shown like that this person is like wise and like is like quick on their feet enough to like come up with something but in this look we you know the temperature thing and i think there was something else too yeah, so and then she the gravity the joke about the gravity yeah. she, so it's like yeah. they set that up that like throughout the movie that it's like she's quick on her feet and whenever yeah. she's like under pressure under stress like she'll fucking figure something she'll perform. out yeah she won't disappoint yeah. even <laughs> she, during the movie she was like let me figure it out. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Oh, yeah. About to cook. Yeah. And so, yeah, that whole situation. So, yeah, pretty much like we just kind of explained it. So, the, one of the girls, yeah, so the one who is supposed to play Dina in uh, Last of Us 2 and was Dora in the live action one, if y'all remember that. Uh, <laughs> tongue out, Tongues out for Dora. So she's pregnant. You find out she pregnant. She's <laughs> you find, you find it in the corner. <laughs> Door in the corner, she prayed. <laughs> so you find out at the beginning that she's pregnant, and pretty much like the xenomorph takes her at one point, and you think she's dead, but then they find her in like those little like whenever it's like this little the xenomorph storage. What is storage unit? Well, yeah, because really he's about to like have a face hug yeah. come and come and, and fuck a face fuck them. Yeah, and so I guess he just had her waiting in in the queue for that, mm-hmm. and so they find her before that happens, and. Uh, she's like almost dead and eventually they're escaping and the main girl rain gives her the, they're going up the elevator, but they left the Android cause he started having his little attack or whatever. his like little like breakdown. And so the rain tells the pregnant girl like, Hey, you go to the ship, take here's the, the compound. Yeah, here, Romulus. Yeah, take compound R and just go, <laughs> just like fucking go. We'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. And so she goes. And it was, like, right before she gets into the ship because she's, like, about to, like, pass out or die or whatever. No one's like, oh, and you she just, just got taken by the alien. Yeah. Maybe, like... Yeah, and she just injects cooked. it, and you're just like, ah, uh, you're cooked. Because then, they, then, right before that, they had showed, as soon as they left the lab when they grabbed the compound, they show... Because w- when they were at the lab, you, they show a video that, like, they injected a rat with it right after a rat got crushed by this, like, little... What are those things called? Like a... Oh, it's just, like, a piston. pressure... A pressure volt, like... Pump thing, hydraulic pump, hydraulic press. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So it got crushed by that, and then they injected with compound R, and it's like starts like reforming itself. And you're like, oh shit, this is like the fucking super soldier serum. Yeah. But then as soon as they take the compound and they leave, it cuts back, and you see that no, it fucking turned into some weird alien deformed thing, and it like fucking it like outgrew its skin, but then yeah, but it had patches of its yeah. skin. Yeah, and I guess it just died eventually, and so. We know that she doesn't know that she takes it because they just tell her, "Oh, you're good. Like it, it'll heal you." Mm-hmm. And so then, yeah, eventually, uh, Rain and Andy they make it out of their whole situation with the, with the elevator shaft, zero G's, whatever. And so they get back to the ship, and you're like, "Oh, movie's over. Cool." They get in their cryopod. Now it's them three. She plugs up Andy. She's like, "Hey, they'll also keep you charged. We're gonna go on our cryo sleep. See you in eight, nine years on fucking Thanos's little peace planet. Exactly. You know, whatever. What was it and called? We'll Yavo. Figure out, uh, Yorko. Yarick. Yarick. Yeah, something, know, like, something that. like that. I was like. Ibiza we'll call it Ibiza whatever yeah let's go to Ibiza yeah and so uh, they the, and you think like cool like they they you know not everybody made it out three of them made it out cool beans we're good and it then happens. it's like she the main girl uh, rain's about to get in her cryopod but then the uh, the pregnant girl's pod it like it's flashing red like yeah. danger danger her danger vitals. yeah her vitals were like not stabilized or whatever so she opens it and she's like convulsing and she's like oh like, screaming uh, and there's blood that scene was and then crazy, she pulls bro. she pulls like her look like, um pot out, out more, more and you see boom she's cooked fully like pregnant, pregnant like about a pop like and you're like bro you were like literally like flat like literally like an hour ago what the hell and then you figure out that because th- she gives birth right then and there in the pod blood every whatever and she gives she birth to crazy. a pod just like the, like those alien pods and so you're like what the fuck yeah. and so rain grabs the pod and she's like all right we got to dispose of this thing and so she throws it down the cargo thing and she's about to uh release the sh- thing but then she looks and the pod hatches and instead of a xenomorph there's a fucking baby in the pod <laughs> and so she's like wait there's a fucking baby. I can't. But like, then the acid starts happening, and it's like yeah, it droops so it like, down yeah. into like the cargo. Oh, container. that's what it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, she didn't throw it down the cargo. Yeah, the acid from the pod is she like, like dropped it. Yeah, she dropped it, it like, in the, on the floor, and then the acid b- b- deteriorates and the floor. And the so fucking like, xenomorph pulled up, and it was. Fucking yeah, dead. and so that then eventually crazy. she goes down there to investigate, and she's trying to find it. She finds a pod, but she doesn't find the baby in it. But then behind her, you see just the shadow of something fucking crawling. 
And then the, uh, what do you call it, Andy, while he's like in charging mode, he hears the alarms and all this commotion. And so he wakes up from his little recharge and he sees what's going on. And he goes over to the pregnant girl and he sees her like on the floor, just like dead. And she's like, he like sees her looking at something and he turns around and you just see this like human, like alien, an engineer, Slimy baby, like hybrid of Dome all of the above head, yeah. just like nasty little cluster fuck chemical fucking lab Built created gmo fucking little thing bald as hell yeah and it's just like coming at him and it slices him in the neck boom andy dead cooked over now you just got pregnant girl rain and so rain is she goes back up because she's like all right she hears all the commotion up there mm-hmm. she's like well fuck it's probably up there runs up there finds the fucking finds uh, andy dead she goes over she sees the Pregnant girl. Then this is when the, you were saying earlier when the, when the alien sticks its tongue out and you think it's gonna get try to get like breastfed because it's t- still like a human. Yeah. It's like a baby. But yeah, no, it just fucking kills her. So now yeah. pregnant girl gone. Just rain versus alien. And so this is where it's like Ripley versus the alien. And this is where you get the classic like alien moments yeah. of like when a woman versus alien. Time to be a badass. Yeah, time to just fuck shit. And up. so she like puts on. She tries to do like the cryo little. Uh, uh, gun, gun cryo blast thing like air thing and so but like a she hits the like the alien hits it out of her hand and it goes everywhere and so it starts like freezing the whole ship and so she has to put on this suit and then after that she goes down in the cargo bay to try to like put uh, bring it down there to like um like lure it down there and then release it she gets three there's like four latches she gets three of them but then when she's about to get the fourth one boom it grabs her Right? Is that what happened? Yeah, because yeah. yeah. yeah, like it's smart. Off. It's like waiting for yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah and so it cool. grabs her, and then at that point, you think, all right, she's cooked now. Because now it's like she's on the floor. The alien's about to get her. But then the pod's right there, and there's still some acid left in the pod. And so she kicks it over, and it like – and keep in mind, the cargo bay is like the bottom of the ship. Like mm-hmm. the, underneath the ship, there's nothing. It's the fucking yeah. – It's space. It's space so time. So it depressurizes and starts and like so, yeah, sucking the, everything The acid out. goes through, boom, everything. Brrr, and then that – I thought the visual of that too where it was like yeah. – It's like she – because she was – this whole time, keep in mind, she's like attached to like a little harness. That's like connected to the top, the top of, of the ship. ship. So the she's cargo. like – Locked in, mm-hmm. like she's like she's not. She had to pull that last latch, and she can't get in. The aliens coming down, yeah. and she's like holding on. But no, like, that that like visual, it's like as soon as it gets sucked out, it's like it shows like she's kind of like all everything swirling around it's like her. A vortex, yeah, it's like yeah. a vortex, and she's like in the middle of it. I was like, fuck yeah, keep uh, yeah. going. She like starts climbing yeah, and then, up, and then and then, like, and then final jump scare. Yeah, alien just comes up. It's like all acid, like a yeah, no, 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 is that good. even acid or is that like space? Like because it's like, I think it was space because shredding. it's because it's like because st- technically it's like human skin mm-hmm. and it's not like a xenom. Yeah. So it's like shredding its skin and stuff, and the little mouth is like coming up and like trying to hit the helmet and like it's cracking it. And so you're like, at that point, I was like, okay, maybe this is where they're deviating. Maybe they will kill her. Mm-hmm. And it's like she'll go out with the alien, but no, they they went the classic route. No, they kept and her. What did she do again? She um, there's like a rope on the last latch, and she like grabs the rope and like pulls it. And then oh, wasn't it her harness? Yeah, that was like, but it was like kind of looped around, yeah, and she yeah, saw yeah. that, so she was like, fuck it, boom. And then, yeah. and then that like opened the that released the cargo bay because that was the last latch, and then and boom, boom, cargo bay is like whole cargo bay shooting down, and she has to like go through the cargo bay before like it can like that shit was like fire. after. While it's like going down, and then of it like hitting the belt too. That's that yeah, yeah that's so cool. Just looks and so as it's fine. hitting the belt, you see in the background the outpost is uh, still like being still like getting... shredded up. Oh yeah, yeah. So I thought big. that was cool because yeah. it's so fucking big. Yeah, it's like not gonna be. It's not gonna be done for like another day or something. Yeah, yeah. and like and then. um yeah, and then you see the ship, like, and so she goes back up and she closes up, like, the little latches that were holding the cargo bay, and, like, it looks like it's, like, about to hit the, the little belt, and it, like, they close right in time. Yep. And, and so it, it literally, like, kisses, up. it, like, kisses in a boom, and it just goes. And so you're like, let's fucking go. And then, yeah, it just, you know, now it's just her and Andy. I thought Andy was cooked, but I guess she's like, oh, you're my brother, or like, whatever. So she puts him in the thing. Takes the I that was smart that she took the chip out because I'm like mm. cryo sleep with a chip I think that chip is cooked yeah, like no, so she gonna, she probably gonna, gonna put that in like a little a little like a little USB in the safe yeah a little yeah another USB to put in the safe as they say <laughs> you know like <laughs> so yeah and then she goes in her cryo sleep of course leaves a little di- did Ripley do that too yeah, like, a yeah. little voice log yeah like I'm Ripley I'm She's the like, sole I'm the survivor last, yeah, of the Nostradamus mm-hmm. Nostradamus I think that's what it was mm, I think that's just another character Nostradamus Nosferatu Maybe I'm thinking. Of I don't know, stars. but yeah, then that's how it ends. So, you know, classic fashion, and it's like honestly, they leave the door open for a possibly something, and maybe you know we got because the ship is called Romulus and Remus, so maybe we'll get Alien Remus mm-hmm. as like a little sequel. I don't know. I think they could because it's like 
this takes place, I think, Alien, I think between Alien and Aliens, isn't it, like, 40 years? Because she's yeah. in cryosleep. In, yeah, she's in cryosleep for a long time. So it's like, it and, I think, and I think this was, oh, my bad. And this was 20 years after Alien. Sorry, so there's she's still, like, crazy. another 37-ish. Yeah, Ripley's still in cryosleep. Somewhere in, just, just vibing in space. Yeah. So there's another 30-ish, 30, yeah. 30, you know, mid, like, 30, 35-ish years, like, that there we still have no clue what the fuck happened. So they could yeah. do a sequel. Whether that's following Rain and seeing what happens on fucking Ibiza when she gets there, maybe there's aliens there or we follow another crew or whatever the fuck happens. I don't know, but it was awesome. It was great. Yeah. Any any other Easter eggs that y'all caught? Um Oh yeah. Um yeah, the Stay away from her, you bitch. Oh, the yeah. Classic line. I, I like. I like how he did it though, because it's like he's like a he's like an android, so it's mm-hmm. like he's like stay away from her, and then he's like kills it, and he's like you, bitch. bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's like bitch. Um, bitch, the bitch. gun sound effect is the same gun sound Boom. effect from uh, the first and the second one. I love. It sounds like a. It's like. Yeah. It's so nice and like, pleasing. Yeah. Um, Just on the <laughs> ears. Yeah, and then the ending is an East, like the whole, the way she says her, like, audio log. That's how Ripley did it, where she was like, I'm the sole survivor of this. Um, there were a lot of Easter eggs, a lot. I'm what if to- they, what if in the next one, if they were to do a sequel to this, what if they somehow tie it to where Rain, because they're still like, wait, it's like 35 ish years, right? Mm-hmm. And so she still has like the nine years of cryo sleep, whatever. So it's like it'd still be like another twenty ish years um, after the, all that. What if they do a whole thing where it's like that's like a, almost like a, it's like this whole. The, if they do another movie that's a sequel to this, both movies together is like a giant like Rogue One type like thing that leads right into Aliens, where it's like she has a daughter Newt. and the daughter is Newt. That'd be pretty crazy. I was just thinking that as you were saying, I was like, she's the mother of Newt because like, we yeah. don't we never know who Newt, Newt's parents are, right? Yeah, because they. Like she was the last survivor of that colony. I think, hey, that that's money on the table right there. See, but yeah, it's got a. She's got to end up on. I think it's like LV forty two or that's. I, I mean, think the there's plan. always yeah. some 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 way somehow there's circumstances. Get Marvel in there. Get the multi. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can figure out a way on how why she needs to end up there. Like maybe Andy gets kidnapped and she's like, my brother, I have to go save him, and he's on the that aliens planet. got him. <laughs> Hop in the ship. <laughs> but, no, solid movie. Um, rating. rating. Yeah. See, this is where I feel challenged because as I was walking out, I heard some dude said this. He's like, this is right behind Dune. He said, "This for this year, it's it's like it's Dune 2 and then Alien Romulus. Damn. And, I, and that's what I was trying to ask you, but you, you and Eon were locked into a joke as we were lo- leaving. I was like, is this better than Deadpool? What did I give Deadpool? Nine four. I want to say nine four, right? Yeah, I'll, I was gonna say I'll, I'll go nine two with this. So no, but that's just because I'm just a Marvel fanboy. And see, I, really I think I gave Dune two a nine four, and I'm sorry, I may have to give Romulus a nine five. Like, dude, no this, way. Way. <laughs> this movie was fucking awesome, oh, dude. This is this shit. was exactly everything I needed. That see, was everything. I, gave, I think I gave Dune two a ten out of ten. I think you did give it a ten. You were like, that was a ten. I was like, I have no no problems. Like, I didn't read the book. I'm not disappointed. I have nothing to compare it to. I had a great time. So. Um, no, but yeah, I think I might have to give That's Romulus solid. a nine five. That movie was fucking awesome. I'll go. I'll go nine. I'll go nine two five. Nine, nine, nine two five. Oh, nine two five the three. first of the hundreds. <laughs> yeah, we're going into the hundreds. <laughs> okay. Someone's okay. got to do it. it. Might as well be me, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go nine four though. Just solid, four. Solid. Yeah, solid. I think that's what I gave Deadpool actually. Same same safe. level. Hey, it safe? safe. Those are great. Like you're putting them up there. Uh, yeah, they, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. Up. I mean, you saw we all just get. It's like we average it out to like a fucking nine three or nine four nine, or three, something. One, one, one. Yeah, something. So it's, it's like, like fuck yeah. Either way, like it's a definite like go watch that. Go watch it on the biggest screen possible. Yeah, like and turn up the volume so loud. Like turn it to up. where your ears are fucking bleeding and you're like like still ringing. <laughs> that's my favorite. I just, hope that's the thumbnail. I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> in space no one can hear you scream no yeah that was it was great but yeah that's alien romulus this is another episode of listen buddy sundry tomatoes we got um i don't know what we have next oh yeah we haven't you haven't made an entourage <laughs> order i don't know what's well up. i don't know buddy might have gotten banned because of his chipotle fucking burritos <laughs> like for real you almost got you no, almost got no, stopped no no nothing ever happened like that 
I just, you know, ran into some technical issues with my membership. I got to renew it now. Oh. They, like, kicked me off it. My, like, credit card. The card. Is that card. Card. My credit card is that, expired. That is kind of coincidental. Expired. Why will... It was funny. Okay, he so said the, expired. Not not insufficient funds. Expired. <laughs> the uh, the Guys. other movie that released this weekend was um, it ends with us. It's that famous book. I thought no, that came out last week. Oh, it came out last week. Oh, I, I don't know. I felt like there were so many girls still at the theater. No, I I looked because uh, yeah, I like checked. I was like seeing what uh, show times they had, and that that one had a lot of show times. So I looked and I was like, God damn, it's packed. Yeah. So when I was uh, Claire was using the restroom before the movie started, and I was waiting out there, and like these girls came out and i heard a lot of them they're like why is it so packed what movie released today and i was like it's alien day. it's alien day. <laughs> they don't know they don't know <laughs> they don't know about alien <laughs> but yeah i think the next one uh, the, the channing tatum movie uh don't uh don't magic b- mike blink twice or whatever oh is that a I, don't, one? I don't even think i've seen a trailer for that I saw one trailer. That's all I need. I'm good. There's, it's kind of like you're kind of like a knives out. We like have murder Joker mystery. two in October. We're back. Do you like? Oh, do you yeah, realize how bro. close that is? That's insane, dude. We're all already dude, almost Craven, in September. Dude, the Craven bro. movie was supposed to come out literally like I think at for Labor Day. Yeah, it was. Supposed and they to come pushed out. it back to fucking December. Why the hey. fuck is Craven coming out in December? He needs time. Does he? He needs time. Craven. Craven. He's Craven. They've got a time. They're they're You're like crazy. we got to give him the arc for uh, Spider Man Two, the video game. They're like we got to just. They're like after you watch this movie, play Spider Man Two, the video game. That movie, that game's amazing. Out of the movie, be probably greater. Won't be. Yeah, the the be greater together. Be greater together. Come on, come on. But yeah, the f- I, I, this is my uh, this is my guess, and I I posted a tweet about this too. But I think Craven's gonna flop at the box office. Same way like Madam Web did and all this stuff. And it'll become a meme. And the, the second it hits Netflix, it's going to be at the top of the charts for like 10 weeks. Like it's going to be like the most streamed movie on Netflix for like a month straight. Is it going to be an R-rated Marvel? Yeah. yeah. It looked pretty violent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, there was a crowd of um, uh, some people that were like thirsting over uh, Aaron, uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson whenever he like took his shirt off. They're like, oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> like I literally heard that. I heard... <laughs> Like, All right, but yeah, that's 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 little somebody send dried tomatoes. Let's cheers it out. I'm tired. It's, it's bedtime. That's that ramen. Let's cheers. Cheers. That's that. <laughs> Just listen, awesome, buddy. Collapse photo. And that brings us to the end of another episode on the Listen Buddy Podcast. If you enjoyed the conversation as much as we did making it, don't forget to share the love and hit that subscribe button. Reach out on all social platforms at Listen Buddy Podcast and be sure to drop a like and comment below. Stay tuned for more episodes every Friday. And as always, listen, buddy.